Hello everyone, how are you? This is Kay. So today, let me run the Forex tester again and show you some in entry and exit examples. So let me switch the screen. Okay, and here is, trading, uh, here is a Forex tester and I will be running the Forex tester today again to show the entry and exit example. So um, usually when I run the Forex tester, I have the four hour time frame here and one hour time frame is this one and here is the five minute time frame. So I use these three different time frames and um, show you entry and exit examples. So now as you look at the four hour chart, it's flat range and chikou span also touching and one hour is also flat. So now I don't look at the five minute chart, I'm simply looking at the four hour first. Until four hour goes bearish, looks like it's gonna bearish, right? Because it's about to break the support. So until four hour become bearish, I keep running the chart. So what's good about the Forex tester is that uh, you don't see the future market. So, um, you know, there's, um, you can trade as if this is the live market. So let me go ahead and run the chart, move the candlestick on M5 one by one until four hour goes bearish. So let me see. So this is like the seventh or eighth uh, Forex tester session video uh, for the last two months. So it's been a main topic in this community. Okay, so now I start to see downtrend and it's about to break the support. But four hour is still flat, Chikou span still touching. So most likely I wait for the breakout in this case to be able to sell. So let me see. But with, that, with this kind of scenarios in mind, you monitor chart. Yeah, you have to kind of think ahead what scenarios, what may happen in near future and when that really happens, you act, you move. So don't simply run the chart without thinking anything. Always think about the scenarios and then run the chart. Okay, so now there was a downtrend. So actually here, um, there was a downtrend already. Four hour Kumo down, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen down. Chikou Span just became below the candlestick. Right, and one hour time frame also is showing downtrend. Now Kumo down, Kijun Sen down, Tenkan Sen down, Chikou Span below candles. So this is where exactly I look for entry to sell. In this case, I never buy because buy will be against the major direction. I'm a trend, I'm a trend follower, so I always look for the selling opportunities. So now I look for the selling opportunity on five minute time frame. So then let's see if I, uh, yeah, if I check the five minute, then I have a band walking and also there is a doji breakout. There are multiple dojis and multiple insides. Let me just zoom in. So what I see here is I see bearishness. So I will sell now, but um, I'm seeing that the market is downtrend. It has been on the consecutive bearish in waves. And then also uh, this, the last bearish bar actually made the four hour, one hour bearish. So this is strong. This was a sign of the new downtrend. And then now the prices between the Bollinger Bands deviations one and two, and then there are two little dojis here and there was an in cyber breakout here too. And then there was another in cyber breakout here and then another bigger in cyber breakout here too. So I see like three inside bars ever since this uh, big bearish bar and then it just broke and that's why this the latest candlestick became very big because of this multiple three inside bars and two dojis breakout. So this is a sign of the new downtrend. So I will take that as entry confirmation to sell. So then, um, so let's see now I will put the market order and I risk 1% and 
to stop loss and I put the stop loss, let's say in this case, I will put the stop loss above here, which is 32 pips above my position and sell. So now I sold my position here and again, here is my stop loss. And as you may know, I take two positions and two stop losses, so I do exactly the same. Again, another 1% and put the stop loss above the two top, double, a double top, 32 pips above, and then execute sell. So I just took two sales and two stop losses. So, and I risk 2% to stop loss. So that means in case if the market goes bullish and hit the stop losses, I will lose 2% of my account. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Now I monitor by five minute chart and hopefully the market goes bearish until, uh, and um, I monitor until break even. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so now the market initially goes down towards my direction and now there is a very small reverse in wave potential. So let's see if it breaks bearish this way. Um, okay, so retracement. So some retracement right now. So let's see if it goes bearish towards this, this direction. Okay, now there was a nice pin bar reverse. Pin bar and doji reverse. So when I see this, I still expect the market goes downtrend this way on the reversed in a wave because higher time frames bearish. Higher time frame four hours is still bearish. So I expect M5 also to have reverse in a wave. So I keep holding my trade. Okay, now I think this is a good sign that there was a double top and neckline breakout on this five minute chart. So that means this is sellers are following the downtrend. So this is double top neckline breakout on M5 and I can be, I can, I will become more confident that the market goes bearish this way. So in this case, I can move the stop loss, uh, stop losses lower. I think I will lower the stop losses down above this outside bar now. Okay, so that in case the market goes bullish and hit the stop losses, now I will only lose 1%. Yeah. So, because I lower the stop losses because I saw this double top neckline breakout on the five minute. So I lower the risk for this particular trade. And I lower and lower until break even. Break even means the stop losses below my positions. That's what I called the break even line. So that even in case the market goes bullish and hit the stop losses, you know, I never lose. I don't lose. If the market goes bullish right now, then I lose 1%, which is still small, but I lose. But if, the, if I move the stop losses below my positions, then even if the market goes bullish and hit the stop loss, I don't lose, right? So that's why I call it as a break-even lines. So now let's see um, if the market goes bearish until I set break-even line. So let's see. Yeah, I like this double top neckline breakout on M5. Okay, now the market broke the support. Broke the support, previous support on the five minute chart. So now I lower the stop losses to above the top, above this double top. So I lower and lower, you know, little by little to uh, whenever I see these, uh, you know, bearish confirmations. But this is still too early to set break even because I'm only running, I am only running pips of uh, seven. So if I lower the stop losses like this, break even, then next candlestick may hit the break even and then it may go down towards my direction. So I won't be able to make these pips, right? Uh, in case the market goes bearish continuously. So to me, this is still too early to set break even. So I will just keep my stop losses above the double top. 
and continue to monitor. So now, okay, I like this pullback. I mean, push back. Now, push back, then most likely, I think the market will be resisted by the previous support level and then goes bearish. That's my scenario. So let's see if that happens or not. But with this kind of things in mind, you monitor chart whenever you backtest or whenever you, die, you do live trade. You know, never, never monitor without thinking anything. You have to always create, create these scenarios, possible scenarios, and monitor at the same time. Okay, now it looks like the market broke the support. So now, still, this is bearish. So now I'm expecting the market will be re resisted by the neckline, which is over here on uh, 1.0861, be resisted and goes bearish. So let's say if that scenario becomes true. Okay, so looks like now it was resisted exactly on the previous neckline, and then now we have outside, outside bar and doji. So if doji and outside bar break out bearish, then most likely the market continues bearish on, in terms of the, this uh, five minute time frame perspective. Okay, so this is about the price action, but with this kind of things in mind, I monitor chart. So let's see. So again, if I move the stop loss break even when I, when, when I see downtrend like this, then my position was already taken on the break even. So let's see if the market goes down or not. Okay, it's range. Okay, so now there's a new breakout. So this is good because it broke the previous dojis and also the previous low, which was down here. 1.0847. Four, seven. So again, it was resisted by the previous neckline, and then now it broke the previous support. Right. So this is a strong downtrend. So now I'm running the pips of let's see how many. It's uh, twelve pips. Twelve pips of running pro running profit is still too small to set break even for me. So for now, I lower the stop losses above this outside above the outside, so now I'm only risking five pips times two. So even if the market goes bullish and hit the stop losses, it's really small. Now the drawdown becomes like uh, 0 0.2 or 3% only. But still too early to set break even, so I continue monitor chart. So let me just delete these horizontal lines and see if the market goes bearish or not. Yeah, but I like this chart pattern so far. It has been bearish and inside bar breakout here. And then the market retraced, then double top neckline breakout and broke the support. Then it actually resisted by the previous neckline. And then now it's going bearish. So yeah, when I see this price action, I'm pretty confident that the market continues bearish. Without looking at the higher time frame, I can also see that on this five minute time frame based on the price actions. But let's see. No, you know, anything can happen from here. Out of nowhere, it might be bullish. So let's see. We're not here to predict the future, but here to really see exactly what's happening within the market. So now the market went down towards my direction nicely. So let me see how many pips I'm running so far. I was running at 20 pips, 20 pips. So 20 pips to me is still too early to set break even. I prefer to have around 30, 30 pips running profit. So if it's 30 pips, then that would be around here. Yeah, around here would be 30 pips, 28 pips or 30 pips would be down here. So if the market reaches there, I think I will move the stop losses to break even. But let's see how it goes. Now we have new inside bar. So let's see if this inside bar will be broken bearish. Then it may reach 30 pips to, to set break even. Okay, still new inside. Okay, inside bar broken bullish. So this is now retracing. So now in my mind, I'm thinking whether 
the market will be resisted by the previous support level, which is 1.0847 or not. So let's see. Okay, now it's reaching to the previous support. And then it broke the previous support, but now we have a big outside bar. Big outside bar. So let's see if this outside bar will be broken bearish. Okay, the market continues bullish, so now it's going to the previous uh, previous minor low, this one. But let's see. Now we have a doji reverse. So this doji reverse is one of the reverse patterns. So the market may go bearish to this direction because higher time frame is still downtrend. Okay, still consolidating. <clears throat> okay, now somehow it's going bearish very gradually. So still, I don't want to set break even. It may go up to my positions or slightly above maybe this doji resistance, then may go down this way too. So this is still too early to set break even. Okay, now it looks like the market is going down. We have new inside. So let's see if this, is, this inside will be broken bearish. Okay, it uh, lo looks like it's losing its momentum now. But let's see. Okay, now I see a descending P wave over here. So this is another pattern of the market where there is a potential breakout bearish. In this case, I can see that sellers are dominant over buyers ever since this time, ever since this candlestick. It has been descending P wave, so sooner or later, I think the market breaks the P wave bearish. Then I will move the stop losses below my positions, break even. Okay, still within the P wave, I would say. Okay, looks like the P wave is now broken, and now this become a flat range. This is becoming range, so I will just delete these ones. I'm just trying to, you know, verbalize everything I see right now in the market. Let's see. Okay, now let me check 4 hour. If 4 hour is flat now, then I have to do, um, you know, uh, I have to move the stop losses. So let me see. 4 hour is, okay, now flat. Now I see Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat within the four hour time frame. So now that means the market may be traced. It may be traced to Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen in the four hour. And I don't want to miss out these potential pips now. So now coming back to five minute time frame. So now I see that there's a range. So I can just exit right now because this range may be broken bullish. Well, I would say that there was a previous uh, resistance level here. Hold on, let me just use it. Tonight. There's a previous resistance here, so I could lower the stop losses above that minor resistance. So I'm fixing uh, 11 or 12 pips in this trade. I fix a profit of this amount because the market is retracing. It, it may retrace. Uh, but at the same time, it may go down this way too. Because when you see Kumo Kijun Sen flat in higher time frames, the chance is now 50 50, whether it goes bullish or bearish. And if you trade at the 50 50 chance, then that would be gambling. So that's why I at least fix some profit and then see if it continues bearish. If it does, of course I follow. But if it doesn't, then I just take profit here too. So this is still, you know, um, getting some reward whenever higher time frame is now flat. So let's see how this one takes place. I will just move the candles for now to see if the market hits the stop losses or continues bearish. In the live market, I usually leave the chart like this and see, I will come back maybe three hours, four hours later and see how it happens. <clears throat> it's about to hit the stop loss now. 
Okay, somehow it didn't uh, at this outside. So looks like the market was resisted by the previous minor resistance. So then now it's gradually going down, but four hours still flat. Four hour time frame still flat, so it may be traced anytime. So let's see how it plays out. Okay, now it's going bearish. So I think in this case, four hour is flat. So I lowered two stop losses above this minor resistance, and then I'm fixing now 14 pips or 15 pips of profit. Again, I enter sell here above, and then my stop losses are down here now. So four hours flat. So that means the market may be supported by here around this area and goes bullish, and I may take profit then. But if it breaks the support level bearish, then it, that means it continues bearish. So I continue to follow again. So let's see how it plays out. But this is uh, this is my you know most important strategy to not to lose. In this case, even if the market goes bullish, you have 15 pips of profit. 15 pips of profit. But if it goes further down, then you will take you know much more profit. So this is win or more win game, which you also want to play. And that's how I manage my stop losses every time when I run profit. So let's see how it goes. So support level was previously here. So let's see if it breaks the support or not. Okay, now the support level is broken. So now four hour is again bearish, I think. Oh, four hours not bearish yet because there was a previous bigger candlestick. So four hour will be bearish if the market breaks this support, 1.0833. Let me delete these lines. Okay, so and this one too, let me delete. So now I'm monitoring and see if the market breaks the four hour support, 1.0833, and then four hour becomes bearish. But it's good that it broke the five minute support, five minute range bearish. So this can be the sign of the new downtrend. So let's see. But with this kind of things in mind, I monitor chart. So for now, four hours still flat, so I, move, I keep my stop losses here because it may be trace. Okay, now the positions hit by the by the by these uh, stop losses hit because of the spread. Spread took the you know uh, stop losses. The spread I set on this trading view. Uh, sorry, the forex tester is uh, one pip, so. It took actually the, the stop losses by the, the spread. But this is how I real, realistically in exit my trade and take profit when higher time frame becomes flat. So this time it was only 15 pips, but it could be 30 pips, it could be 50 pips or 100 pips. No matter how many pips I, I'm winning the trade, this is how I secure my profits. And if the market goes bearish again, I re-enter sell again and follow the new downtrend. But at least for now, four hour is flat. Four hour time frame is like flat like this. So uh, it's just safer to just exit right now because it may continue bullish again to Kijun Sen. It may break Tenkan Sen and may go up to Kijun Sen. So it's safer to just exit right now and at least take some profit and leave chart. So that's how I, you know, exit my trade. Um, just in case, let's run the chart a little bit more and see how it plays out. In this one, let's see, it keeps ranging and looks like it broke the support and it continues range. Let's see. Yeah, looks like it's just ranging and now it's a bit retracing now, right? So yeah, when four hours flat, then uh, it goes like sideways, like this way, or a bit retracing. So if I didn't put the stop losses below here, then yeah, uh, I may have exited maybe here or here. So 
Yeah, and also I had to wait for such a long time to, uh, to exit anyways. So yeah, it's better to just exit the trade. In live trade, you just exit the trade so that you can look for some new opportunities on other markets. That's also important in terms of time efficiency. But today, just wanted to show how I enter exit trades with some profit. So that was the topic for today. So thank you very much, everyone. I hope you have a great day. Till I see you next time, please stay healthy, stay safe, stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.